I wish both these men faced off in the semis or the finals because it has a real, real main event feel right now. Let's quickly go to the tail of the tape. Abdul Azim Badakhshi for the heroes takes on Onjan Salatich for the veterans in this lightweight contest. Both fighters weighed in approximately the same weight. Slight height advantage to the Afghani fighter. And now, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the black corner, his style mixed martial arts. He weighs in at 69 kilograms, representing Delhi Heroes. Give it up for Randall Aziz Bodaxi! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner, his style mixed martial arts. He weighs in at 70 kilograms. Representing the double zero, it's Omien Salati! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as the action begins, the referee for the fight, Alan Fernandez. All right, guys, you've been through the instructions in the locker room. Any questions? If you want, touch gloves, step back to your corner. If you're just if you're just joining us, this fight is going to be a treat to watch because you have the unstoppable force against the immovable object. <laughs> no doubt. And that, my friends, is the best combination you can have. Both these men, tight, strong, tough as nails, solid chins. Who will go down first? Onion, tougher, Abdul. Tougher. I have, you know what? I don't know. I, I, can't, I don't even have a prediction. Both of these men look very, very focused. They're ready to get down to business. And you can see physically, they're so evenly matched up. They both are the same size. Not much of a height difference here. Not much of a reach difference here. And stylistically, they're both scrappy. Nice left hook followed by a cross. The left hook found the mark. They both have great foundation when you look at their striking form. Look how their base is with their, with their legs. Their hands are up. And we've got some oh. exchanges happening in front of us as Ogjin looks to jump on a guillotine. Look at this, Ogjin. Looks to jump on a guillotine. I'll give the stride, slight striking advantage to Abdo because I think he has got more technical striking. Look at that. Perfect timing. He's looking for those knees, brutal knees in the clinch. And he's got double underhooks there, if it looks like. Agjin did a really good job of lifting his knee to block some of those knees coming in from Abdul. These guys separate, and uh, we are already seeing what sort of fierceness both these guys are bringing into the cage. Abdul certainly pressing the action, takes the center of the ozone. And Salatish, but don't count this kid out because he can take a beating and come back. Both these men have done it in the past, but that's, up till though controlling the action so far. That's what makes this fight so exciting. We know both these men can throw leather and we know they can eat it as Ogden dives in for a double leg, but great sprawl and takedown defense from Abdul. No, I think Abdul saw him coming. He didn't disguise that level change so perfectly. Beautiful oh, knee man. time. That forearm against the head, it's a great position to have when you're in the clinch if you can get it. You don't see a lot of it, but Salatich wisely gets out of that spot. Salatich doing his best. Look at that. Look at the base on Abdo. Unbelievable. Oh. Look Reversal. At those. That was incredible. He completely took away his leg, and he was still not able to end up in dominant position. Abdul spins around, but Salatich not willing man. to give up on this takedown attempt as he looks for a single leg. Man, that's what I was saying. Salatich, though, like a dog on a bone, he's after mm. that takedown. And he's not, he, a couple of knees aren't going to put this kid away. Look at that, what a start to this. It's only been two minutes of this fight and wall-to-wall -wall action. Yeah, this has been great action so far. Both fighters showing a lot of skill and a lot of heart. Salatish now trying to move. Good job evading that punch. That was a great job of cage. moving out at a subtle angle. You don't have to move back, ladies and gentlemen. If you move to the side, you can take a half step and avoid shots. That was beautiful by Salatich. You can see high level striking by both these men. Oh, just missed with a big kick. Throwing heavy leather coming in is Abdul, but Salatich able to reverse position. He's got him pressed up against the cage. Oh, nice big knee right in front of us. That landed, that hurt Salatich. Oh, another big knee there, and Abdul starting to open up with those combinations. You can see there. Saltic is touching his eye there. He might have take, gotten a shot there. But Abdul you know, did some damage in that exchange. Saltic is trying to get oh his resolve man, back to this. him. Oh, you know what? Abdul down, opening up with some good shots to the body and the head. Oh, another brutal knee. This sort of pressure is what I'm talking about. You cannot escape oh, this man. Oh, huge knee. This is going to be it. it. We're going to see the rest oh, of Oh, man, that was brutal. One round is all it took for Abdul Badakhshi to this, impose his will. This man's pressure is second to none. He's all over you. He swarms on you with punches, 
kick, elbows, and knees until you fold. He just dropped an incredibly you know tough what? fighter in the first round. Man, you know what? Anthony Avila was talking about this. We spoke about this earlier, and he called out Abdul Badache. But you know what? He might change his mind right now because I haven't seen such crisp striking. And look at that knee that cracked him. He got him with a hook in the combination in the corner, hurt him brutally to the body, and finishes it off. These instincts are incredible from this man. He doesn't have to think when he's in this position. He instinctually reacts to what he sees, and that comes from incessant drilling over and over again. You put yourself in these positions, you drill the right way, it creates instinct. That's what we saw, that's what got him a devastating finish. You know what? I don't see too many people calling this man out for a fight because he is a thinking man's fighter. Not once was he in a position that was reckless. Not once was he in a position where he didn't control the action. It was cold, calculated, and methodical. Incredible performance. Ladies and gentlemen, ref Arlen comes to start with the fight in the first round. In two minutes and 57 seconds, declaring the winner by TKO from the Delhi Heroes, Otto Aziz Badakse! All right, ladies and gentlemen, the Delhi Heroes do it once again. And once again, we have an amazing Afghani fighter. Prove it to all of us. Of course, we have all the fans from Afghanistan here. And we have your winner, or your rightful winner, right in front of you. Abdul, congratulations. You really, really made sure you got this victory home. And of course, we know that Anjan is a very strong fighter. How did you manage to do this? تشکر تشکر از تاک تاکی برای ما دعا کردن تشکر از مردم افغانستان که برای ما دعا کردن و از دوستایی که اینجا آمده واقعا زحمت زیاد کشیده بودم با این فایت که توانوس مری پر قدرت شکست بودم تشکر می کنم از یا هی وود لایک تو تانکس اول دی فانس فالوورز هو کم فروم لانگ تر پلیسز هیر اند هی وود لایک تو تانکس سم اف هیز کوچز ان افغانستان هی وود سی all right, now we do know that you've come all the way from Afghanistan here, and in India, every time you win, we do a victory dance. So do you know, uh, do you have a step for the victory dance, or should I give you one? Because I have tons of them. I have a lot of time for the fight. I have a lot of time for the fight. And I have a lot of time for the fight. This guy is a very strong guy. He was not letting go of the mic, but quickly, if you could translate that for us. Yeah, he said, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He thinks their coaches that he is there in Afghanistan, and also he said that I turning for six months. And he went, and he also want to thank, thank this guy that he is really helped him during this thank fight. You. Thank, thank you very much. And before we go, all the very best and congratulations once again. It's over to you. You know what? We are still recovering from what just happened here because we thought this was easy fight of the night. It was going to go the distance. Ogden is such a tough guy, but Abdul made it look so easy. 